What's up? 45 Lampkin Lane. That was my man Vince Accardo on the boot tonight. Probably be a little shorter episode than normal. We're starting a little bit late. We got Brad Zonka. He's coming from Darb Designs. Uh, that's his company. He's uh, an, another artist like I am. Uh, except he's way better. No, I'm uh, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not. But uh, Brad's incredibly skilled. He's a sculptor. Um, I've seen him make costume pieces, things like that. So we're going to get him up on here shortly. Whenever he's going to call any second now. Damn, i got to prop this thing up too. Hope everybody doing all right. We're just getting settled in, so if we got a little bit of dead air for a second, apologize. All right. I uh, I just filmed a video today for a costume I'm doing. It's the um, the Pennywise costume, but uh. I'm going to have some questions for Brad because I got these silicone pieces. It's for um, it, obviously. And uh, I want to see, I want to ask him how the silicone pieces will go on. Because it, like, you have to use spirit gum and stuff like that. And it's like a latex adhesive. And uh, I don't know if I want to put that on my eyebrows. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see. We're just waiting for him to call pretty much now. Yeah, so there's um, a whole bunch. <clears throat> well, not a whole bunch. But every time I do a show, we got some Halloween 2018 news. So I got some of that coming for you. Oh, I guess I have them. Uh, I guess I have them on my contact list. Yeah. Hello? Hey, what's going on? What's up, Brad? How much? Number two. Uh, let me prop you up here. Can you hear me all right? Oh, yeah, I can hear you fine. I'm just trying to prop you up so the mic can catch you and all that. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, all right, that should be good. Cool. How, how's things going? Not too bad. Living out in the... Living just out in the, what'd you say? I'm sorry, I cut you off. I just got home from work, so. Oh, yeah, how's that? <laughs> <laughs> Same no, old, right? No, uh, work's work. Yeah, exactly, man. I mean, it's kind of different. It's a little different for me because, like, uh, when I was younger, my house burnt down and stuff like that. And so I always wanted to be on the fire department. So now that I'm now that I'm there it's 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 still work I mean it became work after a while but there's I still get that little kid in me when I go there so um, I always say I'm grateful for that I wish other people could experience that at their jobs you know when I see them having a hard time and stuff like that yeah yeah I hear you on that one I mean it's not like I don't know, it's just tough when you're doing something for all it's not tough or anything but you're doing something for a while yeah exactly you kind of get burnt out I guess I wait till <laughs> I wait till work is halfway over just so I can say, "Oh, there's only six hours left." Oh yeah, once I'm there, it's all right. It's like sometimes it's slow, sometimes it's not, but <laughs> right. Otherwise, but like Saturdays, it's not, sometimes not exactly fun. It's working till ten o'clock ish or so. So that's you got that job, but also I was telling you know we had a little bit of time before you came on and. uh not that much time, maybe a couple minutes. But I was telling everyone else that, you know, you're a sculptor like I am. And, and I don't want to say, I hate saying like I am because you showed me a lot of the ropes and stuff like that. So it's like you're one of the guys, you and Jeff, Mickey, and all you guys, you guys sort of taught me the way to go. So I just wanted to know, like, first of all, how did how did you get started into art and stuff like that? I've been kind of doing it since I was little. Um, and then I actually went to school. I went to art school. Oh, Chicago. really? Yeah, I went to the American Academy of Art, and then got a degree in illustration, but really never did much with it because I was already working, and I kind of stuck with that. Yeah. So, and I bought, but I always did stuff like you know for myself or what have you. Yeah. Um, 
And uh, so, like, and you've always been into horror, obviously, too. Is that Did that start when you were real young as well? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, like, when they might have actually started because a lot, I wasn't into it, I, could, I guess you could say. I mean, I, maybe Jason, but I know when I was younger, like, Friday the 13th, or uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, like, scared the piss out of me. Because I saw that when I was really little. So yeah. that, like, terrified me. And you always trickle into it too. It's 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 always an abundance of things that might have started it. So it's hard to pinpoint. I understand that one. <laughs> well, yeah, but it was weird because I never watched. I, I really did movie I didn't watch for years. Like I was in my twenties, I think, until I watched that again because it like <laughs> kind of terrified me when I was little and just kind of like stuck with like, oh, I don't want to watch that movie. And then I like saw it again and I was like, this that's scary. That's the uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street you're, you're talking like, about. I think I was when they come out eighty one. So I was probably I saw it when I was little. So I was probably like five or six. <laughs> that's uh, I saw it, so. That's the Nightmare on Elm Street you're talking about there. Yeah. My cousin was on last episode and he was saying that scared the shit out of him too. That really was some different shit because it's like now this dude is in your dreams. He's not you know. Well, the thing that didn't scare me wasn't the, the dream part. It was that it was burnt. So, like, physic- like f- the way he looks physically is what scared me. I don't know too much of the blood or the... Well, this is I'm trying to remember 35 years ago. But I remember that, for sure, it was the way he looked that creeped me out. I don't know if the dream aspect had anything to do with it, but I know it was the, the burn... Uh, the scars and stuff on his face is what really kind of did it. Is the... Uh, do you know any backstory of it is the story true where um Wes Craven said it was actually a, a guy in the in the sweater like a homeless dude he was seeing outside of his apartment that creeped him out I've heard that um I don't know the truth to that yeah it probably is I mean he probably just saw like a creepy homeless guy in a green and red sweater <laughs> with the fedora <laughs> on and shit <laughs> yeah. and like he said acting all like goofy homeless guy is, yeah, homeless guy esque, and then he looks up to the window, and you know Wes is sitting there, and he locks eyes with Wes, and it, you know, and then Wes said it looked like he was entering the building to come and get him, so he said that scared the shit out of him. I mean, I, somebody said he said that. I've never heard him actually say that. Yeah, I'm like can't even ask him anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, that's terrible, man. I, um, I think a. <laughs> I bet you it's in a book or something. What'd you say, man? It's probably in a book or something. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it in a few things, man. There's always weird rumors of how shit got started. Like, they said um, Michael Myers got his name from a dude who used to bully John Carpenter. I'm not sure how, but I thought that was because... Wasn't Michael Myers, like, a director on one of the sets of his thing? I don't know. Yeah, see? I mean, there's a there's a couple stories that swirl around each of them, so... <laughs> I've never, I've never actually heard that. Nor did I, for whatever reason, never thought to look for, um, like why that. Well, why the thing? Unless it had to be the early, the thing didn't come out until 1982. Right. Yeah, well, so you have to look. look IMDb, so that one didn't come out until 82. So it wouldn't have been that. If anything, maybe it was something earlier. But I yeah, think, I don't think. Uh, what's his nuts? What's his nuts? <laughs> uh, what, oh, I can't think of his name. John Carpenter. I don't think he was. I thought Halloween was like his first movie, one of his first movies. Okay, yeah. All right, then that or he was a director on maybe. I don't know. Actually, we'll we'll have to. He might have been somebody he worked for or interned with. But yeah. Man, yeah. I, I mean, who knows? You wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt it. I actually never thought about that though. Where where the name came from? Yeah, that's true. That's a that's a good that's a. Well, I mean, shit. Now you got that dude coming back. Uh, you seen him on the treadmill and shit, so. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> it, I don't know how that movie's gonna be. I really don't either, man. But you know what? I was telling Mike Aspinwall the other day on the phone. I said, uh, yo, they really win me over if they did. Because, like, back in the day, we did this dance at, the, at my high school. And I remember I had to go get some shit from my locker. I'm like, yo, come with me to my locker to my dude. He came with me. Walking down the hall, it's just the creepiest thing ever. And I was like, in my head right then, I was like, yo, they need to do a Halloween in a school. So, I, long story short, I was telling him I wanted them to do like a Halloween dance. And then today they revealed that, you know, they're doing a Halloween dance in the movie. So I think that's going to be crazy. 
as long as they don't do the Teen Wolf things, that would be. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, movies, like, but dude, I don't, keep going, my bad. No, I mean, because you know how horror movies are now, it's, it, you know, as long as they don't do a straight remake, because they have, they don't have any ideas anymore. No, they missed the mark. Remake, you know, like, the sequels, and some of the sequels are good, I mean, I like all of them, kind of. Yeah, me too. Eight or nine, whatever the one with Busta is, nine, eight, eight. Eight, yeah. Is, uh, Man, James you know, will castrate kind of you for that. Funny, but, yeah, the thing that made Michael scary is he, you didn't see him. You know, there was no blood. He was just kind of lurking around the shadows until he really killed somebody. Yeah. But he was always kind of there. Like, he wasn't chasing you. He wasn't, I mean, he chased you, but. Right. You know, it wasn't like, I don't know, like the later sequels or he wasn't doing. Exactly. Yeah, he was just like, I don't know, the first one, he was just kind of creepy. He just kind of stared, you know, just without the sequel. I guess being, you know, Halloween two being part of it, mm-hmm. you know, he was just kind of some weird, crazy dude just wandering around and just kind of pick these girls out of nowhere just to like kill them. So I mean, that's you know, and he was a normal sized dude, so right, he could literally be anybody in a mask. And then throughout the series, as it progressed, yeah, you know, they made him huge and supernatural, and then you know, the remake, Rob Zombie is like seven foot tall. So it's like, no, but he's scary because he he could be anybody. He takes that mask off, you don't know who he is. Because he's an average-sized dude who would blend in. It could be a kid, it could be an old guy, it could be a, you know, a, a chick. You don't know. Right, and they've been releasing a lot of photos. I mean, even today they've been releasing, you know, photos of the police vehicles and stuff like that. It seems like they're going to be spending a little bit of time at the sanitarium. And uh, another interesting little tidbit is... I mean, well, all the set pictures I saw, was it looked like fall. I was like, holy shit. Because right now in Charleston, I mean, they're having blizzards and stuff like that. So I don't know how the fuck they're doing that, but they're doing a good job. <laughs> Have you seen the yeah, set no. photos? It looks like fall. I'm like, dude, there's a blizzard in that area. How the fuck are they doing that? <laughs> what is it? Um, is it supposed to, I can't remember, is it supposed to be a sequel to two or it's a direct sequel to one? Uh, so, yeah, it's a direct sequel to one as if none of the sequels ever happened, and Danny McBride also said they're slightly altering the ending of the original to fit their story. Yeah, see, now that's where you, like, how are you going to slightly alter the ending to fit it, like? Well, as long as he gets shot off the balcony. Catch him? What'd like, you say, bud? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm assuming. That's what know, I'm then assuming. Then get blocked up for 40 years, and then, what, starts, you know, like... I don't know. I mean, I enjoy kind of sort of like Danny McBride, but I don't know how he's going to be. Right. You know, because he, he's, you know, like that new um, Crocodile Dundee remake, or I, I don't know, sequel, remake, reboot, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. You know, he has, you know, it's literally Danny McBride playing, you know, Joel Dundee. Is that out? In, Dundee, it's like everything he does, even in Prometheus, it was like Danny McBride paying a astronaut in an aliens film. It's like I don't, he doesn't have range or anything, so I don't know how he'd be able to write a horror flick that isn't filled with a bunch of dick jokes and pee jokes (laughs) and like stoner humor. Like, well, as long as I guess as long as he doesn't insert himself, right? (laughs) Yeah, or like be Danny McBride McBride playing McBride. That's funny. (laughs) Yeah, like. Playing Loomis's kid, like. Oh God, that'd be atrocious, man. Yeah, you know, like where he's like Loomis's stoned out kid, because he didn't have a dad type thing. You're like, oh, Loomis killed himself. No, no. I'm stuck without a dad. Yeah. I'm a smoke lots of weed. Ooh. You know, like, look at my dick. You just said something that I I would I would probably prefer for this though, and that's if Loomis killed himself, I probably would prefer that for this movie. Yeah, but that wouldn't be part of a Loomis, so, like, he wouldn't he wouldn't kill himself. Well, if he drove himself crazy trying to figure out Michael, I don't know, you know what I mean? Just... Yeah. A reason... I mean, that would be, like, something that wouldn't be... I don't think it would be part of his character. 
or a heart attack or something. Just get rid of them is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. Or if it's 40 years later, you can just make him die of old age. Like, right. Like, you just walked him and then he died. And then maybe yeah. that's why he escapes because he's not there watching him and nobody else really takes Michael serious because whatever. Right. He's canatonic like he was in the, all the other movies for 20 years or whatever. Yeah. And also, I mean, he wakes up when, I don't know, Lori runs out of yogurt to eat. <laughs> Activia. I just don't want him to. I just don't want to. Um, I don't want them to try to recreate anything with him. Really, I don't know. Yeah, and I think they're gonna try to re. And instead of it, they need to come up with something different, like something new. Yeah. That, you know, they're not recreating stuff we've seen in eight movies, or it's not like a lot of the redos. Like when they redid Terminator, which I liked the new Terminator film, but it was Terminator One and Two just kind of squashed together into this reboot. And it's like, you don't, even with that, it's like they always have Arnold coming back playing, and I love Arnold, but right. it's always the same story. It's just over and over and over again. It's like, come on, you have this universe with all these characters. Arnold's one model of Terminator skin. You could have, if you have a good enough story, it doesn't matter if Arnold's in it. He might be in it for a second, but he doesn't have to be the character. I was just going to ask you that. Is that sort of why those movies pass? Is just because he's there. Like, if he wasn't there, it wouldn't be. Uh, a lot of it is because a lot of the fan base, because I'm in a, some of the, actually, I'm on a couple, one of the Terminator sites or two of them. Yeah. Um, but a lot of them, yeah, a lot of the fans, they want Arnold in it, but they, like, they contradict themselves. They want Arnold, but they don't want Arnold. They don't want old Arnold. It's like they want Arnold from 30 years ago. Like yeah, that's strange. Happen, or they like see it and they go, that's not, we want him to kill people. I'm like, well, it's not just him. Yeah, and I feel like we'll get that with the new Halloween. Like, once it drops and people watch it, they're going to be like, yeah, Nick Castle was in it, but he wasn't like his old self. And it's like, yeah, no shit. He's like fucking 60. <laughs> yeah, and I think that people are going to be like, he, does, he looks different. He's happy. Well, he's supposed to be playing a 60 year old Michael Myers. <laughs> like, what do you expect him to do? Like, yeah. You know that's coming, bro. You know that's coming. Oh, yeah. I, I, people will do that. People see it, and then they're going to say, this movie's not, because they're not going to see anything past kind of the Michael that they've seen. Right. That saying, though, it's not like a horrible story. Right. And it's, you know, a decent script and not just a rehash, you know, retelling of Halloween 1. Which, is, which I'm four years a fan later. of. Yeah. Um... Well, I mean, you also have uh, James Jude Courtney. I mean, he's going to be the stunt double. And uh, I wonder, you know, I mean, maybe Nick will just be the close-ups. But they they keep talking a lot about the sanitarium stuff. You know, maybe we'll see him in the sanitarium, but not like Rob Zombie style. Like, you know, it'll be more an original format, 78, you know? I don't know. I mean, I hope it's not like a Rob Zombie. Right. <laughs> I agree. Playing- yeah. Tyler Maine with a bunch of masks around his room. No, I would just no. Be like, oh, it'd be a copy, of course. I mean, I, I thought that was cool for Rob shit, but of course. Yeah, of course. and I like, you know, Rob's always hello. that one too gets a lot of shit. Yeah. But I liked it because it was original, the first one at least. The second one got freaking weird. Yeah, it got a little bit out there, man. It was tough to, um, you really had to be like, accepting of many Halloweens to watch that. Yeah, like, I mean... <laughs> well, I, yeah, I was just like, what the hell am I watching? Because it's like he had nothing. And it was like, you're just making some weird shit up as you go. Where the first one, it was kind of like a familiar story, but more violent. He had more rage to him, which I kind of liked that he was more aggressive. Yeah. And it wasn't, you know, just the same story. But the second one seemed like it was almost like a cash grab of... Let's just do an almost typical Rob Zombie. Like, let's just do the same thing, but make it make it more blood with uh, with more boobs and <laughs> uh, you know just just more blood and killing. You know, just more outrageous, just to be outrageous and not. And I and I didn't mind it, but it you know to anybody or whatever they can't really fault you for saying that because even I mean even in the ending when you watch the ending you're like what's going on? Yeah, it's weird like. I, can, I yeah, couldn't tell what the fuck with that. 
Right, what he was trying to get at, because, like, the kid's holding him down, but, you know, the kid's a ghost, and, you know, then Loomis is like, it's all in your mind. It just really didn't, it missed the mark, but, uh, I enjoyed it, but it missed the mark, of course. Yeah, yeah. So. I mean, it was fun to watch, and I mean, the violence part, you know, whatever, it might have been a little excessive. Yeah. But, you know, and it's not, I don't think that's what, originally what the character was, he was just some crazy dude, and there really wasn't any blood in the first movie. I mean, in the first second one, I don't think there's really any blood either. Yeah, it's a pretty, uh... Maybe, uh, I think there might have been some when she got her face boiled off in the hot tub, but... I mean, oh, in the like original, blood, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little blood. yeah. Well, the original, oh my god, I mean, she got the <laughs> the needle through the eye, you got the hammer in the head, but still, like you were saying, there wasn't much uh, blood and gore. I, I fucking, yeah. I love Halloween too, and, and the fact that they are, they just came out with the HMH, the Haddonfield Memorial Hospital logos and all that, that's gonna be awesome. Yeah, yeah, and then, uh, you know, the other thing too that they do now, they, they never did before. And I think even in some of the older horror movies, they didn't really show the kills. You know, Friday the Thirteenth they did, but it was like a blood effect or blood gags. You know, now they seem to be like super graphic with them, especially like Rob Zombie or yeah. You know, the original Halloween, I mean, yeah, the guy got stabbed, but they didn't show like the knife, like you know, going slowly into his stomach and then blood splawing all over the place or his guts hanging out. It was like you know what the the, the... On the wall. exactly the. The perfect example, I think, of what you're talking about, too, is is in the beginning of Halloween, too, when Michael kills Alice. It's like, it's still kind of gory, but you don't see the knife go in. You just, you know that's where it went, and then the blood spatters yeah. up. And Yeah, and I don't know if that'll pass now with, you know, people, you know, movie goers nowadays, but I think it'd be right. a nice change, at least. To, yeah, to throw not it back. Just be so show and let your mind do some, some of the work. Yeah. Instead of just spoon feeding it to you. So, what did you so what did you think of the new it then, since that's sort of updated and modernized? I liked it. I thought it was creepy. It, it had some good creepiness and some good scares. If you listen to the book and compare it to the movie, yeah, it's not the same. So, like, if you're a fan of the book, the movie kind of fucks it up. Right. But I mean, it's a good it, alone on its own. It's yeah. a pretty decent film. I wish they would have kept it in the 50s. Mm. Like the book. The book takes place in the 50s, and then uh, 30 years later, it's in the 80s. Oh, okay. And then a couple of the characters that are really important in the book, and for later, like, it's going to be, there's going to be another hit with, you know, 30 years later with the kids. Damn, that's so There's a couple of characters that are really big that they only, like, brush upon in the movie. And in the book, they're, like, some of the main characters, two of the main characters in the book. And they, like, almost scrapped them out for the other people. And that was... I heard that a lot of... Uh, some of the people that really had big parts in the book... And correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if you uh, if you know or not. But is... um, I heard that some of Henry Bauer's friends had some pretty big parts. The bullies. And, and they got uh, chopped down pretty big. Yeah. Well, they had a whole game. Because, I mean... They were a big part of the book. And then uh, Mike... And there was another one, Ben, I think, which was the little fat kid in, in the black... Uh, right, yep. The black kid. Um, they were two, like, main... for In the future, they're two, like, main characters, and they were, like... You don't even see them, or like, they barely talk. Yep. Yeah, it's like they had a lot to do with the story, so I'm curious to see how the story's gonna go moving forward. Though, that being said, it wasn't bad. I did like it. Um... So, I mean, it was good. I liked the way that they took on it. Uh, some of the stuff was kind of weird, but it wasn't a bad read. I mean, that was a good one. That was a good good book. Yeah. Um, oh, did you see uh, the deleted scenes with Henry Bowers and, the, uh, and his goons in the car there before he enters the, the, uh, the, the thing there to get into the well to battle the kids? No. Oh, oh I man, man, I can't spoil that shit for you, man. You got to see the hat. Not to see, because I know, like in the book, so a lot of it, they hang out like, and that's why it would have been cool in the fifties, because it's almost like think Stand by Me. I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah, but think that with it, because it was you know Stand by Me in the fifties, so it's yeah. all spread out. There's no technology whatsoever. The bullies are almost like Kiefer Sutherland's character. 
in his gang. So it would have been like them, you know, picking on these kids and stuff, and then they're hanging out, uh, you know, like, you know, it was just simpler times back then with, you know, bikes and stuff like that, which I think they were trying to do the nostalgia kick with the 80s and Stranger Things. Yeah. And to make it modern so it didn't cost them as much for the new one. Um, you know, so they could do it in present day when they do the 30 year later one instead of just doing it in the 80s. Yeah, money wise, probably that'd be better. Yeah, which, I mean, I don't know if it really made that big of a difference, but I think it would have been cool to see it, you know, in the 50s like the book was. Yeah, that'd be What about sick. you? Did you see any, uh, any movies recently that you liked? Nah, man. I mean, I've just been trying to, like, I've been making stuff. So, I was actually going to ask you. I got, um, I, I filmed the first half of this short today. I'm doing, like, a little, just to show the costume. It's not like to, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to make a fan film or nothing. It's just to show the costume in its entirety, you know, because I got the It costume and then I got, um, the prosthetics and stuff like that. So, I, I haven't done it all. I haven't done it all. Like, you know. Um, so I'm going to do a video for the reveal, but, um, the forehead piece is kind of heavy and it's like silicone and, uh, I got spirit gum and the spirit gum remover. Is that, do I really want to put spirit gum on my eyebrows? Is that going to be, <laughs> you know, spirit gum on your eyebrows? Yeah. Cause I mean, it covers the piece covers your eyebrows too. So I'm trying to remember you might rip your eyebrows out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, I have the okay, remover. Spear gun, spear gun remover. Usually, it's been a while since I covered eyebrows up. Usually, you take um, wax. Um, the hell's it called? It's like mortician's wax, basically. I got you a glue put stick too. Your eyebrows. Somebody you, said you, you could, could use a glue stick, here, and then you glue some on. So you're kind of covering your eyebrows. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the wax. It's basically the same stuff morticians use when they re-sculpt stuff on bodies or fix bodies. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, gonna... it's, it's, a, it's a special effects wax for body. You know, I forget the name of the damn wax. Well, it's, um, I mean, it's a big piece. I guess I could just do all the edges, and I mean, I, I, I should be good there, I guess. And then I could just, I'll put a lot on the forehead, so I probably won't have to do... I mean, the only spots that'll be missing will be the little eyebrows. So, I mean, I... I yeah, should... I mean, you can do that, too. Yeah, yeah, so... But, yeah, I mean, as Normally, far as... Normally, yeah, if you're putting a collar or something on, you would either cover them up with some... Um... I can't think of the name of it. But with the, with the wax, I have some around here, too. Yeah, and I guess... just put the, in, like, a little bead and then rub it in so it just covers it up. And then you can glue on top of that because you'll, you'll stick to the wax. It won't stick to your... And when I say wax, it's not like a candle wax. It's right. like a pliable, um, you know, it gets sort of hard, I guess, and your body heat warms it up, but it's a, it's kind of a sticky type of wax. That's kind of how this paint is that I got, uh, the face paint. It's not like the Halloween store face paint. I get the, I think it's pronounced Maron. It's like M-E-H-R-O-N. Oh, uh, yeah, more, is it like a alcohol paint? I don't know. Is it it's, activated with alcohol or water, or is it just like an oil paint? I, I don't know. It says something about beeswax on it. <laughs> okay. I can't find the... Oh, here it is. Yeah. Well, there's this big-ass thing covering it, so... Um, let me see if I can peel the label off. Well, it's... Um, it's... it's titled stage makeup i know this chick who does uh all these prosthetics and all that and she said that meron was uh the best to use for clown stuff so okay yeah it's probably like a uh like a like an oil type wax or oil uh face paint i'm throwing a blank on my 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 paints my face makeups Ugh. i never tried to talk about those it's like an oily one Shit's hard to rip off. I'm trying to get it off. All right. Here we go. Uh, it, uh, ingredients. Petrolatum. <laughs> Petrolatum. <laughs> Lanolin. Petroleum? Nah, nah, it's not petroleum. I, I thought it was. That's why I was about to say it. I was like, wait, that's not what that is. 
One of them is beeswax. The fuck? Oil. Oil paraffinum. Mineral. Okay. Yeah, it's like a... Is it a, like a putty, or is it like a stick? Here, I'll open it. I haven't even opened this shit yet. Uh... Oh, wow. It looks like fucking wax. It looks like a candle. Just white. Yeah, okay. It's, is it wrapped in paper? Nah, it's just... Oh, here we go. Wow. I just touched it with my finger. Yeah, it seems like the Halloween store stuff, just way better. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's just the best way to put it, man, you know? Um, yeah, so I'll do that shit tomorrow. The hardest part about that stuff... I doubt it'll even be the forehead. The hardest part is the fucking head. Stuffing the head and all that, and then, you know, pacing it down. Yeah. Gosh, that thing, because he has a giant head and all that shit, so... Are you doing any conventions or anything like that coming up? No, I mean, if anything, I might help out James or James with the HSPPA stuff. Um, but I don't have any. The next convention that I'm kind of that I'm really set on doing is uh, Mask Mask Fest, and that's in the end of August. So there's some time on that one. Dude, you need to push out more because. The shit you do is pretty damn good. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I plan. I want to get some stuff. I'm more, you know, I got the Jason mask right now. I'm, I'm kind of doing, which was, it took forever, but mostly because I was just trying to make it kind of perfect, and, I, and so I don't have to ever want to do it again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, I mean, and then I want to start doing a couple other original stuff too, like more just creatures or yeah, you know, just regular mask, and not so much. You know, uh, you know, every now and then, but not just keep doing characters. Yeah, you know, like Jason or more combat characters. <laughs> um, the 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 Uber mask or whatever the what you got going is pretty identical. I mean, I was a pretty big I was a big Jason fan, but um, I don't know. I'm a sucker for all that type of stuff, like the the weird stuff that you don't get to see being made that often. You know. Yeah, well, I spent, I mean, I did it years ago, and I'm pretty sure I was the first person to do the two-piece one. And I always noticed, the you know, longer I kept looking at it, I kept noticing things that were kind of off or wrong, so I redid it. And then I spent, after I did the undermask, because then I started doing that, and got a life cast that came, or, yep. and I was like, put it on, and I'm like, this isn't going to fit, so I'm like, I have to redo the mask, so as long as I'm going to redo it, might as well fix what I didn't like about it. Damn, and then dude. And on and off, because, you know, working full-time, so yeah. it's not like I could just sit there and just crank away at this every day. Um, but I tried to get as much time as I could in. Oh, it looks beautiful. Uh, how uh, how heartbroken were you when you when you were like, shit, this doesn't fucking fit? Oh, I mean, I knew it wasn't going to fit anyway because it was tight on me, on me, and I kind of have a small, like, not a small head, but yeah, yep. it's not a huge head. <laughs> right. So I knew it was tight on me. I'm like, this thing would be pretty tight. So I'm like, I knew I had to do something. And then once I got that, I was like, oh, well, might as well just do it and make it, hopefully try to do the best one out there. And I know that probably other people come out with another one afterwards. But such as, such as the game, I guess you could say. But I'm trying to make it as close as film. So I spent with a couple of people just showing up pictures and... You know, probably for a good year, almost a year, doing just the front part. The back is pretty simple. The front is where it's at. So, right. Once I had the bus, it was like, you know, the undermask done. And I was like, let's get this and try to make it as close to I can without having the one next to me or in front of me. And I think there's only like two copies of it that ex exist somewhere. Has, uh, has Kane seen it? Not the new one. He saw the old one. I have a video of him playing with the old mask. I think I saw that. That's why I asked. I didn't want to sound dumb and like, oh, that's not yours. All right, my bad. <laughs> no, no, yeah. But he hasn't seen the undermask or the bust um, oh, wow. with his face, and he hasn't seen the new Uber. So I have to wait until he comes around here, and I want to show him. Or I kind of want to give him one, too. Yeah, that'd be um, dope. That'd be sick. Yeah, just say, here, thanks. 
you know, like, you know, cause Kane's cool. I've met him a few times and then, you know, the Uber machete and the surgical, you know, the other machetes that we got, uh, he saw those, he saw the Uber mask, he saw my damaged Jason mask. Um, you know, he signed the plaques that we did for the, one of the machetes. I think it was the surgical, you know, the regular machete. I think he signed, I think Todd Farmer, the who wrote Jason X signed the surgical machete. Um, so we signed those plaques and he, you know, we went to the convention and showed him the knife and then showed, he had him sign the plaques. Nice. And I met him a few, I mean, so he knows me, he recognizes when I see him. Yeah. You know, I've met him enough, but I'm, you know, he's, so he's always been pretty cool like that. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. You did the, uh, I saw you did the Lord Zed helmet from the Power Rangers. Yeah. Is that a bear sculpt or is that a cast from somewhere or what's that about? No, no I sculpted that. Really? Yeah. Are you kidding me? That is, I thought, Brad, I thought that was screen news, man. I, I, you know, I've been a nerd for that shit since I was a kid. So damn, dude, I, you well, know. I made that, um, a few years ago. I can't Holy remember how long shit. it was, but a few years ago. Damn, bro. You need. You know what you need to do is get that bitch chromed up, and it's that. There's. I don't think there's a sculpt that'll beat that one. Damn, dude. That shit's spot on. Thanks. Yeah, I, I kind of want to try to get one chromed. What's the process like for that? Like. What's the process like for that? You got to go somewhere and just say, you know. Well, there's a couple different ways you could do it. I mean, yeah. there's. So. You could do something that's called like like a lot of the toys. You'll see they'll have like vac metalized, which yeah. they'll put the thing in a vacuum chamber, and it's like atomized. I want to say aluminum powder, and then it like vaporizes it and sticks to um, the, whatever you have. But it's yeah. a real thin coating and it rubs off. And then there's what we I use for. I'm trying to think. I've used it a couple times, but it's like a spray on chrome, which is like a three part chemical. And it's like a chemical reaction with like this. So you spray whatever this base, and then you like you spray on like a chrome layer, and then you spray on like a clear cover, like a one that sets it. And it's like it chemically chromes it, but it's not cold or anything. Touched finishes pretty good. Right. And then there's chrome plating, which is what we did with the surgical machetes, and that's like what you would have in a car bumper, where it's in a tank and they dip it. So they first sense it's resin. They first uh, paint it with like a metallic or conductive paint. It's like a brass or a copper paint. Oh, so it's shit. conductive. And then they stick it in the. Because chrome plating is they put an electrical charge on the piece. You know, it's kind of like. Um, Holy shit. I didn't know that. Powder coating in a way. Yeah. I don't know if you know how chrome plating works, but. I really I don't. Like That's why I asked. Charge. <laughs> yeah, it's negatively charged. So they negatively charge. I think negative. Whatever. They put one charge, like a negative charge on your piece. And then the water is like positively charged. And it might be backwards with the negative what positive, the but fuck? the principle is the same. And when you yeah. dip it in there, the current pulls um, the chrome and it's three different chemicals. I think it's... Excuse me. Uh, what is it? Uh, copper, nickel, and then chrome. So, Brad, you're speaking a different language right now. <laughs> the, dogs. <laughs> the dogs are barking, but uh, yeah, it's copper, nickel, and then chrome. Um, Damn, so bro. The three, the, you know, they dip it in each one. A certain yeah. amount of time in each one of them. Uh, AKA it, expensive. It adds some weight to it, and it's just like a chrome bumper. And it gives you the best, so it gives a nice cold feeling to it, too. So what? Then that's probably expensive then, huh? Not necessarily that expensive, no. Hmm. You should do that then, um, man. I think that'd be fucking dope. Problem is finding, finding a place that's going to do it. Yeah. We hmm. found one place that we used for the machetes, and they went out of business. They're closed. Damn. They were out in California, and I haven't found another chromer um, that would do plastic, because I guess it's a pain in the butt to do plastics. What about the buck knives? You guys still doing those? Yeah. Those are dope. <laughs> I, lo I love, uh, I love, I don't know, that just looked like a really good replica to me. I was like, damn, I need one of those. 
Yeah, it's a it's a fun knife. I mean, it's sharp enough too. I mean, it's cast off a real one, so it is. You could stab someone, I guess. <laughs> oh, great! You know, I wanted a uh, I wanted a fake knife so I could be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go stab this dude." Yeah, you only get one use out of it, maybe two. Yeah. <laughs> Do you got anything new coming up? Like, do you have anything in mind that you want to do artistically? Uh, yeah, I want to. I got a Frankenstein. I got to finish. Ooh. Okay. Um, and just some. I kind of want to do some classic monsters. I wouldn't yeah. mind doing a Myers mask. Um, I'd love to see that, man. Because you know but everything more you like do. Like an original one, because yeah, the Myers has got so much. DS going around with it so just like whatever it kind of in an old school just original take on it yeah it's hard to make a it's weird dude like there's some I me as a Myers mask maker I feel like there's some uh sequels that you can do and then some are off limits like if you try to go to make a H1 people like are very critical of it and you know they some of them won't buy it because they don't want to offend I'll just say it like they don't want to offend JC or Freddie or something and like that and you know and no no disrespect to JC or Freddie they they probably don't give a shit at all but it's like you know they're customers they don't want to so they have their man for that you know what I mean so it's like but if you do like a, a mask that isn't really available maybe Halloween four or five then that's when you start to see people uh you know so it's tough and then and then when you look back on it's like damn I'm just making these for fun dude I just want me and everyone else to be like, hey, this is my concept, Myers, and uh, unfortunately, some people take it a little more serious than just making a yeah. simple mask, so that's that. I, that's the issue I see with it, so I don't blame people for not wanting to, you know, make it H1 or something like that, because if you've been in the game as long as you and I have, especially you, it's not that simple anymore, just because it's annoying, not because you're scared, but, you know? Yeah, that people just copy them. Right now there seems to be a big H1 kick. I don't know if it's because of the new movie where people are doing life cast masks. So it's like everybody's putting out. And, and some of them are really nice. And, but uh, for me personally, like they all look kind of the same. Yeah, I've noticed a lot lately, uh, a lot of life casts. I don't know, man. I try to do something different. You know, I don't I don't ever use enhancements, dude. I just, and it's not because, may, I want to try the life cast stuff, but that stuff is, man, it's hard to reproduce the life cast back into clay. I was, I just thought it'd be easier for me to just try some, you know, ground up stuff. That's why I do those, because they're easier. Yeah. Well, maybe <laughs> you have to make a mold of it, and then you have to put it in, you know, make a copy. and Right. You could just start sculpting away if you do your own shit, you know? Yeah, but I mean, people are trying to get... I get it where they're coming from because they're trying to get the... Um, no, I get it too. That's how the original, original was made. Look. Right, right. That's how it was originally made. Right, yeah. Uh, but it's like... Yeah, it's all really good. Like, you know, Simon made a, made a nice one. Who is it? Uh, oh, Simon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're all dope. Really, I, I just... Really uh it's hard. It would. I, I'm saying it would be harder for me to uh, do something with the life cast because those dudes are all super advanced and um, they could, without a doubt, sculpt a good Kirk on their own. I wasn't saying they couldn't. I'm just saying uh, they know how to, you know, they could easily bring something back into clay and that's harder for me. So I just do them regular ground up and, you know, whether they come out, they come out how they come out, you know? Yeah. So that it is what it is. I mean, uh... <clears throat> So yeah, right now we're doing, we're going to do the it stuff and I don't know. And, and then, uh, I don't know what else we got coming. I got, I want to block out just the Myers. I got H4 blocked out, but I really, that might turn into, you know, I have a feeling we're going to see a new mass soon <laughs> and I'm going to want to do that. So Yeah. Well, I think your time on this thing. Yeah, definitely. So, get it. there's no point in rushing it. Usually, that's one mistake. You know, people start making mistakes or like. Yeah. You know, especially if you're just doing it for fun, just like whatever, just take it. Like, I try not to rush too much my stuff, and then sometimes that takes forever. <laughs> Almost. But I'm also trying to do it, so it's. Well, I try to pace myself. Like, dude, if it's been two months. 
and I have just a nose with no eyes. Like I'm like, nah, I gotta get going, you know. And it becomes a learning process for me. I look at it like, I'm gonna do this whole shit, and I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna tool through it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna move fast, and I'm gonna do what I can do to make it accurate. But at the end of the day, you know. And that's why I, I wasn't a huge. I'm not a huge. I, I love critiquing, but sometimes people don't understand. It's like, they're like, hey, you need to work on this nose, and I'm like, you don't think that I didn't look at this nose forever and make it the heart you know as accurate as i could it's just it don't come out that way you got to stare at it for hours <laughs> well sometimes even getting taking a break and just walking away right and then coming back to it or just punch the damn thing in the face we'll start over yeah i've done that a couple times that's how the cane mold went my first basically ever it was too thin the mold yeah and then i molded it back you know got it and I sculpted a new one, molded it again, and, uh, you know, some some dude who went on a tangent and is obsessed with hating on a dude who ripped everyone off, you know, his wife cheated on him and stuff like that, so he blocked everybody, I'm sure you know who I'm talking about, I'm not gonna mention names, but he accused me uh, of recasting it from a screen use, and I'm like, motherfucker, how the fuck do you think I got a screen use cane mask? I don't have, I don't have money like that, so... Yeah. It ended up becoming, you know, one of the, one of the top, if not the top, uh, the current came mask. And actually, uh, I got a big announcement regarding that coming soon, which I, I didn't think anything would come of that, but, uh, pretty cool. yeah, apparently that thing's going to be, going to be out there hopefully soon. But, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I do this thing called like current events on here, but it's been so shitty lately with current events. All the current events are kind of shitty. No, I know, but I love talking about the nitty gritty shitty. Like lately, it's just been Donald Trump this and Donald Trump that. Oh yeah, yeah. I try to, you know, I hate politics. Me too. I I hate them with a passion. I'm not trying to talk about that. I'm just Mostly saying because people can't separate <laughs> their beliefs and their opinions with. Um, you know the facts so if they believe something it must be true and it's like no oh, especially with social media right it's kind of like that it's like no just because you think it this way it doesn't mean it's that way so it's like you know and then you know Trump I, I'm not a Trump supporter but and the guy's kind of an idiot but Everybody likes to call it everything and so like he farts the wrong way and it's like he had a juicy fart and all the pro and it's like everybody's <laughs> done something. Like none of them are innocent, they're all politicians. Of course, yeah. It's like they've all you just don't hear about it and this guy's getting it because you know, but he didn't lie. <laughs> he was the same way before he was elected. Like he's been that way for years. Exactly. I mean I it. like this is who you voted for. Why are you surprised? I remember just, he, he had that was show. He, what was it? The Apprentice? He was firing everybody. Even that, he's just, just the way he is. Even on the campaign election, he said. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, he's, it's just, it's the show just sanctioned. <laughs> like, yeah, but he said something. I'm going to deport Mexicans. And then people get mad when he gets in office and he's going to deport. It's like, he told you he was going to do this. It's like, the whole grab by the pussy thing, like... Oh, Jesus, yeah. And whether or not that was a joke, you know, because nowadays you can't joke about anything, or it was just said, you know, like they said, locker room talk, or just guys being guy, or he was trying to just show that that's, you know, like, whatever it was. He, he knew this before, so anything he does afterwards that might actually come out of that, you kind of knew that beforehand. Like, I didn't vote for him. Right. But... It's like, he kind of put it all out there. So how is anything that he's doing in office a surprise? You knew he lied about shit and exaggerated stuff. He did it in his TV show. Dude. He did it when he was on Howard Stern, like any other TV show. Yeah, he's a he's character. Years. He's a character for sure. Yeah, so it's like, how, why are you surprised by this? But did you dude. expect him to change? All right, so I'm looking through the news right now. <laughs> I guess this donut shop in Missouri was selling Tide Pod Challenge like donuts. So they're oh, like, yeah, 
they're colored like the Tide Pods. Oh my god, it looks pretty good. <laughs> I saw it. I'm like, I need, I need one of those. Jesus, man, that's. I mean, it's in bad taste, but it's funny. I mean, like if you or I yeah. owned it, we would be putting out donuts like that. That's definitely a dude like that that owns it. <laughs> yeah, but it's not in bad taste. I mean, if you're stupid enough to eat laundry, this soap, like that's true. That's true. I mean, where are you? Like kids, they they're stupid. I saw a video actually today. I saw. Where a kid, it was in a different country, like India or something. And a kid was doing a selfie, like video. I know what you're going to say. On the train tracks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, you're not a couple feet from it. You're literally almost on the track, on the rail. Dude, like, did how you... How big s- the train is? Wouldn't you, like, let a train go by first to say, like, hey, I'm going to do this, so this is where I can... <laughs> no. And, like, the dude, I'm pretty sure he died. Oh, like, dude. But... Did you see the it's stills? Get, like, full on hit by the train. It's like... Oh, yeah. Did you see the stills in the comments? No, no, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I he's... kind of looked, but I didn't. So I figured he got messed up. So I'm like... Yeah, you at first, smashed. I thought, like, his hand would get hit. And I'm like, that's going to break your arm. Yeah, I but thought he was going like, to take I his arm off or something. Like, no. I'm like, your whole body got leveled by the train. Like, why would you... Why? why? Just why? Like, you didn't think that it was... I was, talking, was I was talking to my buddy and I said, you know what, there is a very weird chance that that could have been him, you know, filming uh, his suicide, but. Maybe, I guess. You know, some weird, like, oh, you know, I'm in a pose. And then, you know, he's like, yo, get out of the way. And he's like, nah. But it's not like there was people there. Nobody tried to stop him. So, like, yeah. again, why would you not? Well, was, that, that like, would explain. Was, that would why ex- not have yeah. somebody run over there and pull the guy away? Ugh. Or a couple of people. Like. Well, if he, if he masked it as, you know, I'm just going to pose in front of this thing. And then, you know, they're like, yo, get out the way. And he's like, no, nah, I got this. And then. <laughs> but, I don't know. Kids uh, do some dumb shit. Well, the sad like, thing is it looked like. It. And then they get in trouble. Like the kid eating Tide Pods. Oh, God. I like them to sue Tide. They're smoking them, too. Because they got sick. They're smoking them, too. I saw a dude was vaping one. Oh my god. I was surprised the smoke wasn't black from all the chemicals. I don't know, but it, that, ugh, why, why would you? I think there was people drinking bleach like last year. <laughs> they had that challenge where the people were setting themselves on fire in the bathrooms and then jumping in the shower quick. It's like you're a fucking idiot. I mean, I'm not going to lie. When I was little, I did sort of do that, but it wasn't like I'm going to douse this. It was like, hey, I can put alcohol on my finger and then lay it on fire look it doesn't hurt and then you do it like twice and it's like oh this kind of does hurt <laughs> I'm not gonna I, do it I better stop doing that <laughs> yeah so it's like I'm gonna stop like I remember one time I accidentally stepped in gasoline that I was burning <laughs> oh Jesus I was 13 and just we burnt stuff and I was like oh and then I lit my foot on fire and I was like, wait, and I, like, freaked out, and I took out some, you know, fire that burns. And I was like, wait, this doesn't, and I think I might have done it one other time, but I was like, yeah, you're going to burn yourself. Like, I would douse my whole body and rubbing it with a whole light on fire. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I got a I've couple. I've a couple of those videos, and I'm like, I think that person died, because they just, like, lit on fire and then fell out in the shower. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was terrible, dude. Some of them were, like, <laughs> Uh, yeah, you burned for life, like severely burned if you're not dead. Scrambling to get in the shower and shit, one of the girls took down the uh, shower curtain and set it, set yeah, it on fun. fire. Like, why are you, what do you think was going to happen? Especially if you're dousing gasoline, it's not going to it's not gonna go out as quick as a normal fire is going to, you know? No, and if anything, it might even spread. Yeah. yeah it's fire. depending on what it is and what she's going to put in water on, like a grease fire. Fire can be bad. I don't know. All right, well, this was a good show, man. Unfortunately, we got to cut it early just because of everything that lined up tonight. I know I was probably babbling on a lot. No, no, nothing about babbling. I just um, <laughs> got to go handle some stuff. My girl's coming home soon, and then uh, I, I'm going to do some more editing on this thing, too. And then, so, but. Anytime you want to come back on, bro, it's been a fun ass time. I can't believe uh, hours basically gone by already. Yeah, yeah, me either. 
Doesn't seem like that long. No, well, it's been exactly about 53 minutes, so. Um, 54 minutes, yeah. Do you have anything you want to announce that you're coming up you want people to know about? No. Uh, I've been working on orders that people gave uh, yeah. that I've gotten. Thank you. I always appreciate that. Exactly. Um, and then trying to get those out. And it's it gets tough when you're working 40 hours or so a week. And and then you're working and you know, trying to squeeze in another 20 hours a week. Yeah. Inside stuff. Plus and then regular life and house and relationships and family and all that stuff. You know, with whatever time you have from six o'clock on which you probably already know how that is too yeah so it gets kind of tight so but i'm trying to get everything out as quick as i can all right yeah I'm, well i um, have more time in a day i was gonna say we should have uh you and james back on one time because i thought when james came on you were gonna be with him so um but yeah no it's good to have you both on separate though so we could sort of but I want to have you back so we could sort of talk about more about your art side and stuff like that. I know we sort of just shot the shit, so. But, th I mean, that's good, you know. That's what I like about these shows, so. Yeah. Oh, I'll talk. Let's come by with Jay. Uh, Jay. We can be on. We can pull our shenanigans. <laughs> oh, my God. You two together is a fucking. Man, it took me so long to get used to you two dudes. I'm like, are these dudes going at it on my shit or what? Like, I, I just can't tell. <laughs> Whatever. It is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it starts sounding like, start sound like stupid. Just talking in circles. Oh, I don't mean to do it, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Well, I got to thank you again for coming on. We're going to get out of here. All right, dude. All right. Well, I'll share it with you again later. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, that's it for 45 Lampy Lane. We're out of here. <laughs>